Well, a very good morning to you from a crisp city of roses. We are, of course, in uh, the free state capital, Bloemfontein. And this is, of course, where the Department of Science, Technology and Innovation has literally taken over the town and with good reason. We were here, of course, for the 20th anniversary of the South African Women in Science Awards. And that gala dinner went off last night and with much aplomb, I must say, and just getting to listen and show showcase the work of women scientists in South Africa and just how far they've come. And of course, making it all possible is the Department of Science, Technology and Innovation. And uh, we are this morning going to speak to some of the winners, some of the stakeholders. The Deputy Minister of the Department will join us for a discussion later. And of course, there's a book launch also coming up about 20 years of celebrating women in science in South Africa. And what a beautiful book it is. I had an opportunity to look through it, featuring some of the alumni, of course, of SAWISA, the South African Women in Science Awards as well. But of course, some of uh, the discussions that we had, speaking to uh, the awardees who all walked away with handsome cash prizes, I must say, it was really worthwhile listening to them talking about their work, but also some of their challenges. And I'm joined now by the Director General in the Department of of Science, Technology and Innovation, uh, Dr. Mlungisi Tele. Uh, thank you so much and good morning after last night. Good morning, Sakina. Good morning. We really enjoyed your hosting of the event. Thank you so much for enjoying, uh, for, for, for uh, entrusting the SABC as well, you know, with this project. And it really was good to see women scientists in South Africa and the work that they do. But of course, SAWISA, the South African Women in Science Awards, it's a flagship initiative of the Department of Science, Technology and Innovation. What keeps it going? Why is it important for the department to keep this particular initiative going? First and foremost, we must thank uh, the public broadcaster for having been able to come and cover this event. It means a lot to us because we are actually guaranteed that uh, our efforts will reach millions of South Africans, especially young black women, whom we are intending to inspire. It's a vision of the department to place science, technology and innovation at the center of government, education, society and industry. So in that context, Women, of course, they are critical to the future of our society, but also even the present. And we know from where we are coming from, you know. During apartheid, we were told that there is no place for blacks in science, technology and engineering. And we also know that women uh, were never recognized as having the potential to do anything, let alone being closer and be involved in taking leadership in science, technology and innovation. So that's, that's drive us. We want to transform this environment. We want to change the face of who is a scientist, who is a technologist, who is an innovation innovator, who is an engineer, an inventor. So we want black women mainly, uh, or in particular, and women in general, uh, to also inspire lots of South Africans. By the way, we know that uh, women are in majority in this country and also in, in Africa and, and young people in particular which are, who are dominating our society in the rest of the continent. So last night, the keynote address delivered by uh, Dr. Mziligazi, and she made an in interesting point, you know, uh, speaking to the theme of this year's celebration uh, with regard to her voice, a uh, women scientist's voice in the scientific community, and uh, talking about how we move in these circles and uh, the, the sort of challenges that women scientists and researchers face, and making their voices heard so that they may get to the top but it's not always easy to actually change the status quo absolutely and and i will encourage people to really visit um, our website and sabc website to catch her speech because it will really inspire a lot of people certainly um, the environment the research environment is not easy to women who have to juggle different responsibilities and of course, you know, compared to men, um, they take a bit of time because they have to look after us as men, they have to look after children, and they have to do a lot of things at an early stages of their career. By the time they come back, um, they would be aging and so forth. So it's important 
to make sure that uh, women are provided with the necessary support and also the space must be created but we need them to lead because they understand better the environment the challenges that they go through and we hope that uh, people like Dr. Mzilikazi would help a lot and of course her leadership position uh, at Rhodes University we hope that it could really lead to the type of transformation that we're envisaging and we want to see more women by the way Sakina you know over 55 percent of all our postgraduate students who are funded by us are women Mm. And then we're out of time, but I quickly just want to ask you about the funding question because that is something that also came through quite sharply. No, we, we yes, of course, we appreciate that it's modest funding. We will we would be happy if we were to have more money available to fund postgraduate students and researchers. But we appreciate the effort and the different programs that we have put in place, which have really seen lot of women becoming professors and also contributing to knowledge production which is really changing the face and the nature and the social composition of our knowledge production domain. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Trele, uh, the uh, Director General in the Department of uh, Science, Technology and Innovation, and uh, just talking to us about some of the touch points that were, of course, foregrounded at last night's gala dinner. And it was a beautiful occasion. We'll tell you more about it. You'll meet some of the winners from last night as well.